This February, we saw this amazing event of these huge tapestries designed by Raphael Woven in Belgium, unrolled in the Sistine Chapel, restoring the decoration of the Sistine Chapel in its full, complete form as of 1520, a really exceptional experience. I think these tapestries can really speak to everybody, including the sort of the blase, I've seen it all, CGI set, because A, it required the most incredible teamwork. It was like bringing together the Pixar studio to make this happen. So first you need the draftsman, Raphael, who can conceive of drawings that are gonna be same size as the finished product. He had to draw them in mirror image, so everything has to be prepared backwards, and they have to be done in such a way that they can be translated into another medium. Then in come the weavers. These things had to be sent all the way to Belgium, in a world, by the way, without FedEx. They they have to be sent all the way to Belgium to be woven by the world's finest weavers. And these technicians wove seven warps per centimeter. So in the space of a centimeter, they change the color seven times, and it takes about a month to do a square foot of those tapestries. So you have tremendous technical skill. You've got the best tech, you've got the super creators, and then you bring in the materials. And so you're not just working in a kind of a low, cheesy format. You're pulling in silk threads to get the same effect as oil paint and gold and silver threads. You have the best craftsmen, the best draftsmen, the best materials. If there were an Oscars for, for tapestries, Raphael would have won them. The thing about these tapestries, which it's been a long-standing crusade, tapestries are not a minor art when you're at this level. Apart from the, the actual skill and the, the organization required to make the tapestries, the real question is why make them? Something to bear in mind is that the Sistine Chapel was designed to hold, oh, about 40 liturgies a year. So you'd have the papal court in one room 40 times a year for some kind of liturgy. All the decoration is done in a permanent material. You can't move the Sistine Chapel ceiling, you can't switch around the paintings by Botticelli and Perugino. So a movable decoration that would be there for Christmas, that would be there for Easter, that would be there for the different holidays, that's what tapestries are for. So the tapestries were there to supplement the particular liturgical occasion. And Raphael gets called in by Leo X to do which tapestries? the stories of Peter and Paul. So what would be the feast day that we would put up tapestries of that sort? It would be June 29th, the feast of Peter and Paul, the feast of the pallium, the feast of the church, the feast of the founders of uh, the patron saints of Rome, the feast of the first pope. Now, these are commissioned right around 1517, 1516, 1517 just when there's a little tension going on in the church. And so this is really on the eve, on the brink of the Reformation, on the brink of questioning the whole purpose, function, legitimacy of the papacy. And Leo already has Raphael at work producing this dazzling, amazing, utterly persuasive image of how these two stories of Peter and Paul were intended to converge here in Rome culminate in the deaths of the two twin apostles here in Rome and become the seedling and the foundation of the church that we have today.